What's up guys? This is the Royal Common and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play the United States of America. And in this episode we are going to um, just capture a couple of Maratha ships. Uh, it's part of our ongoing effort to blockade the entire coast of the continent. Uh, we may as well take the opportunity to steal their ships uh, while they're giving them away. Then we can slowly we'll continue to build our naval strength in India, blockade the coast, and then force them to have no alternative but to fight us on land. So let's get our heavies up front, backed up by our... Not by you guys, now by our seconds. Apart from one third, one first straight that's going to be right at the back. Not that we really need to worry about them. Now this positioning wasn't quite so great. We're going to sail across the wind. Interesting what they're doing. They're just... Actually, if we sail like that... Still going... Still getting an advantage of going with the wind, but... Yeah, they can't make up their mind. So you've got Kand Kandari, second rate, and Udagiri, second rate. Interesting, that... <laughs> That ship just effectively did a pirouette. But yeah, the overall strategy is if we can take... Well, the, if the Maratha... As the Marathas lose their ships, we're doing what we're doing. What we are... It results on a kind of like a... A greater net win for us. So the Marathas have been... Will have been denied a second two second rates and will have gained two second rates so the delta of ship losses will be um positive two in our favor so i'm just sending in a bunch of my ships to just chop the corner get in there fast because my heavies are going to take ages but yeah that's the plan that's why we end up Go now they're committing. So send this fleet to go charging straight in. Because our heavies can now turn in a position to engage the enemy. And let's make sure you guys are all coming in at full sail. You know what you're going to fire? Abukir, chain shot. Got plenty of time to reload before Kandari gets into the mix. Fire as she bears. Didn't knock a mass down. You win some, you lose some. Switched to round shot. We're going to pivot around. We're going we're to move around like so. Well, actually, you might be able to fly a chain. Just give these ships orders to barrel in at top speed. Yeah, you can probably take off, take sail off of Kandari as well. This fifth rate is going to rake our formation, but that's okay. The mainmast, perfect. Let's have another one of those, please. Don't think you're going to get in front of Corvary. Ooh, the rear, the, the uh, rear mast is gone as well. So, okay, let's get you guys. Jump the queue around the back. You can fire a round shot into Corvary. Oh, she's about to fire. Surrendered. On fire. 
I want to get ships up ahead of Kandari. She's lost her mizzen or foremast. Excellent. You can just pivot and start engaging. Great, now these ships can just keep engaging. Um, the second rates head on. Hannibal engage from here. Hermes is going to fire it well off, switch the chain. They're going to put a volley into Ude Udagiri. Both of you guys alt, right click. Designate Kandari as the priority target within their arc of fire. Yes, you can fire a uh, No, don't do that. Take adventure and bring her about. Fire at will. Fire at those damn masts. Excellent. Excellent. So now these ships can slowly sail on. Take Ramillies. Good. And these ships can just keep engaging. A second rate. Here comes adventure. Out of range of chains. So just. Give another broadside of round shots. Lots of fire down the length of the ship. Lots of crew casualties. Effectively just drop anchor, keep engaging. Get Thunderer to zip around the rear. Get Confederacy Confederacy <laughs> to position. There you go, she's now wavering. She's now surrendered. Excellent. Come on. Excellent. Close victory. My god. Right. So let's cash the fifth rate in. Let's add the seconds to the fleet. fleet ready. So Rodney Merriweather, you can get back to Trinco to um Colombo. Ships orders. Get in there for repairs. Because you're not needed um, urge urgently. These, this fleet put into Calcutta for repairs. 6,800. Still in good shape. The army's growing in strength. Obviously, we took Arisa, um, Katak last turn. That's pretty great. You are waiting for one unit of line infantry. Just spam the recruitment of line infantry. Apart from the recruitment of one colonial light infantry. Nice. Okay. Up here in Europe. Okay, you're now at full strength. You're ready to march on Brussels. It will bring an enemy army to bear, which is okay. So you guys, yeah, you just need to replenish. Okay, you guys need some howitzers. And the brace of elite infantry. 
Ian Brent is nearly fully recruited. You've got two more turns till you're fully done. Okay. Let's send a... So recruiting our sloops to raid or to re-raid these ports. Ooh, that's not gonna go well. Very well. Nathaniel Wallace? You are gonna go get this fleet. Yep, you can get within range, that's just fine. Portsmouth, yeah, you're just recruiting more sloops. Let's maybe put one in... Oh, we can't get them into Rotterdam. Yeah, this area just needs to keep mass recruiting troops. You guys are all replenishing. Let's re oh, we can't replenish the farmland. Okay, we're not going to attack. We're going to hold because we can't repair or replenish. If they decide to come after us, that's on them. You're not far from being done. New Spain's under our control. You're waiting. There you go. New Granada is under control. Let's get you here. Your ship is ready to transport you to Europe or India. Europe potentially. Yeah, you're waiting on reinforcements. Portugal's recruiting more troops. Everyone's recruiting more troops, really. Ready the cloth mill. Yeah, it's already broken. We haven't got the money ready to replenish any of these troops. So let's hit and turn and see what happens. Go on, Spain. Do something. Deploy your troops. Okay. So how does Austria react to what we just did? They're going to go and attack Amsterdam, are they? Nearly. They can raid my port if that's what they want. Um, ooh, we're going to intercept that fleet, but it's going to be an auto-resolve. Chomp. We are victorious! <laughs> yeah. Yep, got them all. Enemy fleet ahead. So we've been attacked by the Austrians. They think, I mean, if they think they're going after Amsterdam, they are badly, badly mistaken. So we are going to attack or defend against this force. They don't get their artillery because they're fixed inside the fort. Yeah, Humphrey Sloper is going to kill a lot of Austrians and push them back. I think we may end up deploying more troops into India. Ultimately, we've got a lot of fights to be getting on with. We're going to be keeping ourselves quite busy. But we need to make sure we don't forget about that fleet um, in the Adriatic. So let me get a piece of cardboard, because that's all I've got near me right now. Fleet in the Adriatic. Good. I need to make more notes because I forget too much in the late game. You've got too many things going on. Uh, do I want to defend the town? Not really. I want to defend the side of it. Re realistically. My, the, my ability to put out a huge amount of firepower is significantly diminished if I hold the town. So we're just going to position a little loosely. We're not going to go for a balanced formation. My gunners are going to be on this piece of high ground, but it's entirely possible that we have to redeploy. Oops, forgot about these cuirassiers. So the reinforcements coming in from the left, that's good to know. We can probably bring 
My dragoons go over there, my regiment of horse come over on the left. Artillery aren't able to engage anything because everyone's out of range. Okay, there we go. So my full artillery engage the provincial cavalry. Can't really hit any of these guys yet. Now they've opened fire with their horse artillery. Any hits? Going after my regiment of horse, potentially. More infantry coming in. Okay, now my howitzers can open up. They're going to engage the enemy cavalry formations as well. None of them can be convinced to attack. Okay, they're both going to attack the light cavalry sharpshooters. Shells away. Or shot away. Okay, they must have engaged someone else. Okay, now the shells are coming in. They're just a bit taking a bit longer than I thought they might. But yeah, my foot artillery is engaging their, their cavalry. How it says a plinking at their skirmish cavalry, the biggest troublemakers of the lot. Sh uh, they're out of range of shrapnel shot. So it's split our fire. Some engage the provincial cav, some engage the carabiner behind them. Their horse artillery gets too close, we can attack them with our howitzer, with our, our our cavalry. This cavalry has been reduced to about half strength. Are they just going to wander around backwards and forwards, putting themselves into line? The answer is maybe. In which case, you're just going to let my artillery do what they want to you. And that's super. I mean, they're out of range of quick lime shot. But they attacked us, so if they want to just sit back and be pounded by artillery, they are welcome. And it's only going to get worse. The longer you take to push in, the more kills we get and the more devastating our quick climb becomes. And they've got a handful of kills with their horse artillery, but it doesn't really matter to us. Hey, there we go. There goes an enemy unit of cavalry. More infantry on the hill. What are they doing? So let's see what happens once they get into line. Once they're in formation, will they decide actually? No, they're just going to shuffle around. All right then, just keep shooting at them, I guess. There we go. That is what we wanted to see. Especially when... Well, I killed a few of my cavalry in front of my artillery, but that's okay. Okay, start to drop some quick lime. Be a good hit. There we go. Shrapnel shot. 
shrapnel shot is so good. Quick climb coming in. Move my cavalry against the hussars. Which one shrapnel shot killed the general's bodyguard? It detonated early. Looking mighty thin on the ground. So the actual the actual infantry that's trying to push us now. Oh, they're charging. I hear them. They're very upset. Cavalry is shattered. Well, good hit. Skirmishes. No, line infantry is open fire against the general. He's committed suicide in front of our line. Couldn't deal with the punishment and the pain. Okay, let's begin quick climbing some of the enemies entering the battlefield. Skirmishes are opening fire. Artillery! Engage that line of infantry. Close range. This 24 pounder unit engaged the unit of militia. They're under they're wavering, they're under fire, but they won't break, not just yet. Excellent shrapnel shot hits against the 78th Regiment of Militia. Okay, you may have to engage the enemy sharpshooters, because they are very good. Let's target the quick climbing howitzers to support the left flank. Let's attack ground right here to try to get both those units. Okay, Republican Guard. Go kill the horse artillery. Move up the other Republican Guard unit in case that manages to trigger the enemy cavalry to commit. We're going to let the skirmishers think they've got a chance to push. You men attack the infantry on the left. Let's retarget quick line. Engage them very safely back here. So the cavalry is committed, but they've gone after this unit of Republican Guard. They can form square, my dragoons can sweep in. Okay, kill that provincial line. Oh no, they're too close to the edge of the map. Push forward. Artillery! Excellent shots. Exactly what quick climb is all about. Cavalry get in to attack the provincial cav. Kill the horse artillery crew. Form square. Enemy cavalry is committing. Get my cavalry behind their lines. Quick climb, engage the armed citizenry. Put artillery, provide round shot support against the flank, I suppose. Republican Guard, get in here and bayonet charge the Jaeger. Republican Guard, bayonet charge the provincial cav. in here against the enemy infantry. Let's start trying to knock some of these units out. Push the line forward to engage some of the other threat coming in. Now 
Hunt and Jaeger are down. Keep engaging them though. Kill the last of the, the Lone Infantry. Howitzers engage, right? engage the Armed Citizenry with round shots. Excellent. Get my general in here. All my artillery engage the general's bodyguard. So one unit of in one infantryman left here. He's dead. Five more here. Infantry, push forward, commit, get the uh, militia to commit against you. Uh, my dragoons, get over here. Quick climbers just quick climbers just to come in against the general. Thirty-five men left. The human pursue the Swiss Mountain Jaeger as my general. Pursue the militia. both against the unit of Freikor. Let's hope the pathfinding works. Artillery has got the general's bodyguard to break. The armed citizenry is broken. We are going to continue just because we've got a couple of units here we can actually wipe out. There we go. Pathfinding finally got them. general are down are chasing down the militia dragoons are chasing down the Jaeger well they're done for because they came back one last militiaman okay everybody help the general with you guys Okay, everyone's path bounded except path found, I guess. Acceptably here. One last Jaeger. Swiss Mountain Jaeger. It's making a run for it. Don't think they're gonna make it though. Here come the dragoons. Third regiment of dragoons, no less. Come on, stand and fight. Goddamn right. Decisive victory. Always what you want to see. Excellent. Humphrey Sloper bringing in the business. Awesome. So they can push to try and... I mean, that's an auto-resolve, if ever I've seen one, and it's definitely not 50-50. There we go. City is ours. So we need to be ready to reinforce this, because we could be about to get immediately attacked. But if they do try and attack us, it will draw troops away from... Paris, so we can potentially run, push troops further in. And we're forcing the troops around Brest to commit, which is really important. Um, I am going to fight this manually, just because there's a big army over here. So let's deal with them intelligently. <laughs> so if that's the start of Austria sending lots of troops into the Balkans... We may want to reinforce it pretty rapidly. That's part of the reason why I want to capture the city. Get it pumping out as many units as I possibly can. Um, and also rely on Tunisia to help bolster this front by generating more troops. The most intelligent way to fight this battle is 
cavalry charge. You just run through, you just run through. Kill the general. There you go, everyone's dead. So that will be significantly lighter on our attrition. Yeah, three men. Auto resolve would not have done that. Do we see anyone else? We've got some troops in the area, but not a huge amount. I mean, they've immediately sieged us, which is fine. We will repel them. The fact they haven't immediately attacked us is good. Marathas are bringing up more naval forces, they're bringing up more infantry, although at least they are individual units rather than complete stacks. If you come within range of me, Marathas, I will intercept you and you will die. You will be slaughtered before the gates of your own cities. We'll see how fast you can soon reconstitute your troops. Because the longer you leave it, the more men will recruit. We've got plenty, plenty of bodies in Bengal to put in a blue uniform and send to kill on the orders, on the orders of Uncle Sam. Now where are you sending your troops to, Ottomans? Not building anything in Jerusalem. They're not building anything in Damascus. Jerusalem's quite vulnerable, really. You could land a troop, troop in the port and march straight on them and take them out. Interesting. Oh, no, sorry. Baghdad's owned by... Who is Baghdad owned by? The Mamelukes. That's who it is. We've got some... Some backwards and forwards with Russia to the east, but nothing... I mean, nothing that matters to us at the minute. We may have to commit our Swedish garrison into the fight. That's not a problem. We can easily recruit another. Interesting that Russia is now the one slowing it down. Um, but yeah, we need to make sure we're investing in our uh, economy. Because we are growing our troop capacity well we're growing our armed forces enormously so more a great attack space will will be so incredibly helpful and it looks like i'm going to drop the recording because russia has decided to break the end turn phase so see you in a second everyone and we are off again uh the only interesting thing that happened that uh it actually was a one minute long segment, which I, I did record, but I'm probably not going to show, um, is the fact that Russia asked me to give them two really juicy technologies for this territory. This territory right back here. And ever so nicely, they've built it right up to the point at which we can choose to build a military governor's encampment and we're going to build some fortifications. So this territory is almost certainly not going to be worth the money. But what we can do is fortify it with a garrison so that when we eventually invade Russia and attack Arkhangelsk, we've already got a coherent piece of territory behind their lines. So that's been done. Uh, let's make sure we are continuing to upgrade our economy. Let's take Underway. this sloop order. out of port. Let's get Evan J Sir. on board. Let's get the rake on board. We are probably going to want to push that to India, because we have less recruitment capacity in India. Let's not get rid of that fleet arrives. Okay. Bengal. Let's recruit. Stockholm has built better roads, so I don't 
Will you be able to leave the territory? Almost is the answer to that. So you might have to wait a turn before being able to support the ongoing fight. So the Light Dragoons have a... There you go. Light Dragoons also have a garrison policing bonus. So let's recruit a brace of Dragoons before... Well, we're not going to start recruiting yet out of that territory. You guys may have to be committed into the action. Earlier than I would like. Let's take one of the sloops blockading this port. Get them over to Malmo. Let's take this sloop. Get them to pick up Gerard because we can't attack Austria from the Baltic coast anyway. You men can deposit yourselves onto Rotterdam. You are waiting on one turn, waiting for one turn of, of this, uh, these mercenaries to make their way to you. These troops are gathering. Okay, one elite unit, one line infantry unit. Two skirmishes and two line infantry units look like the order of the day. It's not going to be more expat infantry. Let's just get two units of line. So that's six units being recruited. Because you're not going to them. Great. Okay, so the number of things we have to do in this episode... Max out recruiting of company line. Calcutta needs to just start spamming out troops as fast as it can. So eventually we need to fight. We need to fight this battle here. So this garrison force needs to sally and engage. Madana Van Kay, that that's chap. Lots of Gurkhas in that army. Um, then we also need to break the siege of of Zagreb, which should be okay. Lots of cavalry in that force, so if we withstand the initial charge, we will be on for a on for a good thing. Let's get the governor's barracks repaired, get fortifications ready. ready. Let's take another sloop to throw more infantry into the mix. Because again, African native infantry isn't as good as regular line infantry, but it is mass. Mass is important. We can start to try and filter them out for regular line infantry when the time comes. Let's just gobble out that small Austrian stack. Elias Freeman, get back into Zadar. Although well, actually you can't really repair there. Get you to recover to cert. You can make get get repaired, get repaired in port. Excellent. Your fleet arrives. Now you've come back for repairs. Put into Cinemary. Excellent. Right. So, done all our building. Don't do any upgrading around Katak yet. Ceylon port is well this fleet is ready they can prowl the west coast of India looking for easy pickings we do probably want to attack that fleet although it's not really a really important army but yeah we've raided their west coast that's a good outcome for us You can collect a line infantry unit. Let's collect this army. I suppose, were there any juicy targets on the west coast? Amadnagar is 
protected. Satara is having the top level government building being built. Mysore is protected. Okay, so maybe in future there might be some viable targets, but in the, at the time, the time being, for the time being rather, we are just still carving out our bridgehead. Don't see any actual generals in this area. Okay, oh, you're a general. My mistake. Let's try and assassinate the general. No. So we've hopped over to Zagreb. Take this force on the ground wall, Stapleton. Attack Frederick Stock. And let's break the siege of Zagreb. So they've got lots of cavalry. We just need to yeah, withstand their initial charge and then take the battle to them. Because then this axis is the axis where we actually put Vienna itself under threat, which will cause or could cause an awful lot of problems for the Austrians, particularly if we capture it. So I deploy my my artillery up because we want to deploy or we want to lure their cavalry into a series of charges. So my native African infantry aren't going to get too much of a look in. They can't form square. I suppose I want to combine my light and my heavy cavalry. Keep my regiment of horse solo. Beautiful targets. It's already some really good damage. Drop into squares immediately because they are coming at us. The skirmishers, yeah, they're in a position to engage the enemy cavalry. Household cavalry, lots of curacy, yeah. Okay, so get ready because they're gonna hit they're gonna come across our squares or hit our squares. A couple of hits from the curacier there. Killed a bunch of our native warriors, but my god it was worthwhile. Switch to Quick climb, just attack their follow up forces that are trying to attack us. Commit the native warrior auxiliary. My cavalry hasn't got a look in yet. My cavalry get out of here. Make sure the squares hold. native auxiliary troops getting in there but I need my cavalry to get involved or more of my cavalry to get involved great you men hit the provincial cavalry you men commit against the native against the curacier Fall my line back, sacrifice my native troops. There we go. Now is where the when the reinforcements come into the mix. Light cavalry go for the general's bodyguard.
hit that block of troops right in front of us. We've got friendly troops in there, but we need to get out of the way. Make some space, get my howitzers back. broke you might come back though everybody pile on we go kill the enemy general that's a good get for us Let's run my guys back, see if I can make them, see if I can actually recover them. They're in great fighting spirit. Who are you? Sixth Regiment of Infantry. They're an elite fighting force. Of that, we can be sure. Oh my god, that really helped. Light cavalry barrel through our lines. Let's recover you. Actually, no, no, let's not. Let's go after go after this Hessian Jaeger at the back. Let's engage all of their remaining enemy units. Kill those Hessian Jaeger. They've not deployed stakes. Native War Auxiliary get in. We don't need another general. There we go. We retreated back to the overwhelming firepower. Keep going, Native American infantry. We'll bring the land van militia within range of our infantry. Swiss pikemen are left. Switch to round shot, engage the militia. There we go, the enemy infantry units are routing. Household cavalry is committing a suicidal charge. But they broke off at the last minute. Okay, the enemy infantry are coming back. As you might reasonably expect. But now it's more about at what cost. Make sure the infantry is coming over, the reinforcing infantry is coming over to join our line. Don't intercept the enemy. How it's so engage them. Bombard them. Yes, yeah, so you're marching to go try and cut off the 68th Regiment of Foot. Boy, good shrapnel hits, blew some real holes in that line. Ooh! Shrapnel's so good. So here comes the 35th, they're just about to run into range of our muskets. It's the end of them, the 10th regiment are halting. Attack the Hessian Jaeger. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of it, so then I'm going to send my general 
just attack the enemy. It's not going to be a huge amount of damage. We, it's not a huge amount of damage we can do. We've just not got the men. But we can knock out a couple of units. I'm going to want to keep my cavalry somewhat close to my general. Just keep killing them. Farm some experience. Big old block of militia. See if I can get my general to gain another chevron of experience. Come on, laddie. Ten left. Probably not going to get it. The enemy was vanquished nonetheless. Hey, come on, more cavalry, better route, better pathfinding. Come on, lads. Still not the battle outcome that we really wanted, but I'll take it nonetheless. So, this is why we want to get Zagreb replenished pretty rapidly because a cavalry hit like that is pretty devastating to us so you chaps replenish yes. reinforce with the unit of Af native african infantry let's get horatio dennett to fortify his position Sir. You haven't got the range. You haven't got the range between you to attack Vienna. Now you're fortified. Uh, Fortifying is okay. Okay, so recruitment in America. More industry, sir. Sir, so you need one unit that's being recruited. As to you, that unit's being recruited. You need three units which are being recruited. Ready Excellent. Let's bring in the next general, Oswald, Oswald Goff. Cuirassier, Regiment of Horse. Can't call in any colonial dragoons. Another cuirassier, then I suppose. Let's go for 12 pounders in this army. Continental Marine unit here. Yep, and that's going to be the end of my cool units I can recruit in the Americas. I've got the Army Staff College. Is it built? Yes, it is. So there is a limit now to how many. Cool units I can recruit in the Americas. Because my um, DLC, for whatever reason, is not working with the additional units mod. Weirdest thing. I wouldn't be surprised at the fact that I'm starting on a weird date. Factors into it, because we shouldn't, we should really be in the. Yeah, the last time I did this campaign, I started off in the. Late 1700s, not 1839 or 1821. Yes, I think I started on. Right, so you guys are replenished. Well, you guys are replenishing rather. Let's deposit our troops because they're only primed to attack Leonard Vice. Well, let's go for him. Back you go. And then the army will advance south to fort or to bolster the defense of uh defense of brussels that was it i need to make sure I reinforce the city of brussels as well okay let's get cracking knock this army back push south reinforce the city Ooh, bridge battle Deploy, deploy the guns up in an aggressive position. We are going to force the crossing. Let's 
to the... Where's the Ford? There's the Ford. And then a smaller, more elite force going to try and cross the bridge. Although, actually, I should put the bulk of the cavalry on the less congested crossing. Everybody focus on that cavalry unit. We need to make it across that bridge. You are actually going to stop us, so we're not going to be able to blitz across. We will be able to prevent you from easily getting across yourself. Rockets away. Then my general over here, he's storming over. Get my artillery to start engaging other targets. Quick climbing howitzers. Engage the most dangerous enemies first. Light cavalry needs to push and engage. Yeah, a lot of dead guys. Push the line. Push out. Yeah, you had to engage. Curacier commit against the Freikorps cavalry. The enemy's given up on this flank. Crossover. Cavalry in support. I've got plenty of okay, you men form square because the heavy cavalry is coming in. Quick climbing cavalry engage the infantry looking to push in. Okay, they failed to push their maintain their offensive. Okay, you need to get out of the way, light cavalry. Let the oh, that's the Freikorps cavalry, we don't need to hold. Artillery tear them a new one. New men form square. Let's get my cavalry out of the way. Freikorps cavalry, Freikorps, Carabiner, horse guards are already routing. Let's get the cavalry out of the way. My artillery is doing a real number on these infantry positions. Shrapnel shot is really fast firing. It's quite easy to forget. Form up. Get my general over here. My light cavalry is upset. Oh, for God's sake. Take out the six pounder horse artillery. Don't worry about the enemy heavy cavalry. There we go. Now my... my musket wielding infantry. You're clearing out the enemy infantry, most of the infantry that are facing off against us. Charge the enemy engineers. Engage the Jaeger. Stays a big blob. Artillery. Round shot, engage the expats.
102 men remaining. My long riflemen can turn, they get a good volley against that Rikor cavalry. As it is, they are engaging in the melee combat. Skirmishers will relocate or rebalance our front against the enemy elite infantry. Okay, you men engage the militia, all of my artillery engage the 73rd Regiment of Expat Infantry. Enemy general charged my Continental Marines. They're all within shrapnel range. Shells coming in. Oh. Losing decisively. Push my line up. Artillery round shot the eight the foot guards. Seventy fourth are broken. They're broken. I think everyone's broken now. Sweet artillery. Ceasefire. So you men kill the last of this militia and take on those infantry guards. Break the line. Good. You men go after the line infantry. Good. Many, many Russians died today. Russians? Austrians died today. Good, good. Good. Although, I must admit, all of these individual units that are being chased down aren't necessarily being chased down in the most optimal way. A lot of them appear to have managed to spread out. Folks are killing the 74th Regiment of Line Infantry. Good. At least we can get the 16th Regiment of Foot Guards. Nice. Yeah, that was a good battle. Good amount of damage. The ratio wasn't terrible. Foot artillery right at the top with 264 kills. Yikes. Yep, you're pretty knackered. This force replenish, advance within range of Brussels. Brussels replenish. Brand Strobel. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sure we've killed a Strobel before. You're, you're pretty good. Just siege them, just because you can. You probably can. Yes, you can hit that army. You don't want to. You need to replenish. But again, they're depleted too. Okay, you're in the worst position. You're going to come down here. You're within range to support both battles. Can you leave Amsterdam? Just kind of. Yes. If I take you guys minus four infantry Any out. More? That's okay. And after that, let's get recruiting the next set of the next army out of Amsterdam. Cool. Um, that's done a lot of damage. There's no troops. To the west to worry about. Apart from you, 
Gottlieb Stadion. Stadion. Okay, you need to push up, actually, I think. They're going to have to catch you up. Raid Marseille. Paris is a good Protestant region. Um, to be honest, I can probably pull... Maybe combine... Troops together here. Push reinforcements out. There we go, let's do that. Intercepted. Retreat. Beat the retreat. All right. Let's try a different unit. Except go this way. Awaiting further orders. <laughs> they really don't want that army to re to reinforce. All right. I'll go over here then. Any further orders? March. So this army get back Men into Amsterdam. March. Waiting for the orders. There we go. They really took offence to that. The next action we definitely should do is this action against this Maratha force here. I'm going to engage them, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for more Slaughter by the Americans. Cheers everyone.